Okay, so this last week, let me go ahead and move this up. All right, boom. So welcome back to the Grapplers Graveyard. Um, today I wanted to just do a quick review of some products that I have recently been trying out, tested, and bought. A lot of grappling and a lot of wrestling and everything along those lines requires you to take shots. I do have kind of a bummy knee, so lately I've been testing out and buying uh, wrestling knee pads to try to see which one is ultimately going to be best. And I have a handful here that I want to talk about and get you guys introduced to. Plus, let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, the first one on that I will talk about is the Cliff King Bubble Knee Pad. So what you'll see here and what you'll notice is that this bubble pad right here is super comfy. It's like memory foam for your knee. Um, now when it's actually worn, right, one thing that I personally don't like about this specific knee brace is the length between the top and the bottom. Right, when you're gonna be wrestling and rolling and, and doing all this dynamic movement, chances are like it's gonna slide up and down. Um, so it's kind of annoying having to readjust and adjust each and every single time, um, you know, after a match or anything or a roll. So that's just like my one critique, but nonetheless, like the actual memory foam on this and the, and the pad and the security that comes with the knee brace is excellent. I really can't complain about that from this standpoint. One thing to also keep in mind that there is no sizing for this. It's a one size fit all. Um, it may be helpful to be in the beginning before you buy any of these knee braces to at least like measure from the like the top of your knee or like the bottom of your quad to be able to like measure it with a tape measuring tape so that you can see the the circumference of your leg so you know what size ultimately get. So you're not buying something too small or not buying something too big. I've uh, tried to save you some money and some time there. But nonetheless, Cliff Keen, good knee brace. Um, again, my biggest critique is the fact that it doesn't have any length on the top and bottom. This would be a perfect knee brace or knee pad, whatever you want to call it, uh, if it did have the length for me personally. I like to have a little bit of swag when I'm rolling and, and on that, so you know the swag factor does does help having a little bit of knee sleeve on there. Uh, the next one is going to be the McDavid knee pad, knee sleeve, whatever you want to call it. Now, I know that McDavid is like a classic brand. I remember seeing these things on basketball courts, on, on football fields, everything along those lines when I was a kid. So they've been around a long time, have a reputable name and reputable brand. Now compared to Cliff Keen, right, this is like more of a multi-sport knee pad in my opinion. Um, again, basketball players, volleyball players, football players, wrestlers, they all use this stuff. Um, now if you're looking for an actual sports specific piece of attire, I don't necessarily think this is going to be the best one, but it does have some factors of being like considered to being a wrestling knee pad that you ultimately do get. Now, when we put this thing on, again, what I personally like is this length right here, right, right there, and right there. Adds a little bit of swag um, so that you look good on the mats as well as while you're rolling. Now, the knee, the actual knee pad itself is less um, cushiony then I would compare to the Cliff Keen or maybe even the Rudis and some of the other ones that I'm talking about here. But nonetheless, I think this is a great knee pad. Um, another critique that I would possibly have is at the top, you don't necessarily have like a sticky elastic ring around there to kind of hold the knee pad in place. So if you're gonna wear this, there is potential of it sliding and you having to adjust it quite a bit, be able to have a comfortable fit and feel when you're rolling and, and training this. Uh, I know I had that kind of experience, and kind of annoyance when I was rolling this last week, um, having to adjust it underneath my gi pants. But you know, nonetheless, I still think this is a great knee pad, uh, a great piece of equipment to be able to have if it is something that you ultimately want to go with. You know, majority of these knee pads and knee braces aren't really expensive, so they're going to be like twenty, twenty-five dollars at most, maybe some of them thirty. But you know, if you're going to be picking something that has a little bit of that swag factor to it. I think that McDavid is going to be up there on the top of the list. Now, let's go ahead and jump into my personal favorite right now, um, the Rudis knee pad. Now, it, you, as you can see, it has that length, right? A little bit on the top, a little bit on the bottom that I typically look for in something to protect my knees. But this cushion, when I tell you guys 
this thing like genuinely put a smile on my face when I put it on my knee and was like rolling around and felt the cushion and how it felt. I seriously mean that. This thing is unbelievably comfortable. The material is strong. Um, it doesn't necessarily have the elastic ring that I was kind of talking about earlier that some of these, this, this next knee pad that I'll talk about has. Um, so it may slide just a little bit underneath like all your attire, but nonetheless, it's probably gonna, like if you put this on and had spats over it, like leggings or anything along those lines, I don't think that's gonna be really a big deal when you're actually training. It does kind of have like an elastic band at the bottom, so it doesn't really slide there. And then obviously understanding how wide your leg is actually gonna be is gonna be important for this top part because it does also stretch here. Um, so just try to keep that in mind, measure your legs so you know, you know you're getting a good product as well as getting the right fitting size product. So again, when I put this thing on, like this knee pad is, uh, it's bigger, right? You can clearly see when I'm wearing it, like from the side, you can see like, it's pretty wide out there compared to something like the McDavid or maybe even the Amazon brand that I'll talk about here shortly. And the Cliff Keen does this as well. But this knee pad, like, it's literally a pillow, like a 10 repeating pillow. So I don't think there's really anything out there that like, I think this is the top of the top, the Rudis brand. I love Rudis gear just in general. Um, I love their wrestling shoes. Haven't tried their headgear yet, but I plan on getting that out to you guys. So stay tuned for something along those lines where I, you know, test and, and try out latest wrestling gear or wrestling headgear. But nonetheless, uh, this is a great knee pad for only like 25, 30 bucks. Like this is a banger. I, I really like these ones. Now, um, for the one that, oh, something to also keep in mind. When you're ordering the McDavid knee pads, so the Cliff King and Rudis, they only come with one knee pad inside of the, of the packaging. So if you're wanting to buy two, the McDavid and the Amazon brand are gonna be your, your bet. Um, McDavid comes with two, both right and left, and then same with this Amazon brand. Um, this Amazon brand is super cool. Um, it has the elastic ring that I've been kind of talking about here um, throughout, throughout this video. It has that elastic ring, so it really does keep that like that grip to your leg, especially when you like start sweating and everything along those lines. I think this one holds best compared to all the others that I have tested and tried out. Um, the knee pad here, right, completely covers your knee. So if you really want to make sure that your knee is protected uh, and covered entirely, uh, this is a great choice and option for you. Now, compared to like the Rudis, Cliff Keen, um, Knee, knee pads, the, the actual pads itself aren't necessarily like the most soft. They're less um, less like out there, so it's not like intruding off of your leg like far. But nonetheless, they're, they're decent. Um, you know, this is a this is a twenty dollar knee pad, knee sleeve. So you can't really expect much in terms of like the cushioning on the knee pad when you're paying only twenty dollars for two pieces of equipment. But nonetheless, what I also do love about this is that it has serious swag factors. Like your swag points are gonna be going up through the roof when you have this thing on, to be completely honest. Uh, it has that length that I like to look for. Again, it keeps the elastic around your leg so it feels tight and it stays on there. It doesn't necessarily move around all too much. Now, one thing to kind of keep in mind, I do, when I look at this in the mirror, I have a mirror right here. Um, it does seem a little bit see-through so, I, and I do think they have other color options too. So if you're looking for like a black one or, or maybe a colored one, I think this would be great. The white is a little bit see-through, but nonetheless, um, yeah, those are the four knee pads that I did test um, throughout this week and everything along those lines. I wanted to give an honorable mention. This isn't a knee pad, but this is a knee sleeve. So if you have some serious knee stability issues or you just really, really want to protect your knees and don't necessarily need like the actual cushion, maybe you have like ACL, LCL, PCL type of worries or concerns, you need to consider getting the Anaconda Fightwear knee pads. These things are insanely incredible. Um, they cost $40 for a pack of two. Um, you may have, the only, the one thing I do have to say about this, the, the wear and tear on this is pretty, like the window of you actually being able to use this and how long, it's probably about six, seven months before you have to go and buy a couple new pairs. Uh, but if you only have one bad knee or one knee that you want to protect, buying a pair of two 
and then use one for six months and use the next one for six months and then buy it after a year, that's probably a good route for you. But nonetheless, like this thing is probably one of the best knee sleeve knee pads that I've actually ever experienced in my life. Um, and I've obviously, I have four here, but I've gone through so many knee, uh, knee pads and knee sleeves just to kind of protect this right knee because I'm shooting a lot on it and obviously running around training everything along those lines. But the cool thing about this, stability wise, there's literally nothing on the market that does anything like this. So it wraps around your knee with you being able to have this Velcro and elastic on it right at the top. And I'm not even kidding, guys, like this thing it hugs to your knee. It makes you feel stable. It makes you feel secure. It doesn't necessarily have the knee pad, so that's why I didn't include it, uh, or that's why I'm including it as a honorable mention here. Um, you can always wear like a knee pad over top something like this to provide that extra support and stability. But nonetheless, go ahead, check out some of those knee pads. I hope you guys found this video helpful in some type of way, shape, and form in making a decision on what's gonna be the best wrestling knee pad for you. Um, if you like this type of content, please comment, let me know. Um, if I missed anything, I'm happy to add more products and try to test out uh, for you guys so that you guys can make better decisions. Um, I have a link to the article that I wrote on this specific topic if you want to read. Um, as well as all the links to each of these products down below. Again, clicking on those links helps support the channel and it means the world for me to you guys being actually here. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow for more content. Without being said, all the links to every single product are going to be below. Uh, some of them are affiliate links, some of them are not, meaning that if you click the link and buy it, no extra cost to you. I do make a commission on it. Um, your support does help the channel a lot. It helps the business continue to grow and allows me to continue to do what I want to be doing.